Hey guys, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about portfolio development in the MetaTrader 5. So um, we will have a look at this from the programming perspective. So this tutorial will be a little bit advanced, but I will try to make it um, super easy to follow. So even if you are not super experienced with programming, you should be able to uh, take away one or two things. So um, yeah, it will be a little bit more complex than the other tutorials. And the goal for this tutorial is to write a simple strategy. So the, whoops, so the focus is not on the strategy at all, but the focus is on combining um, maybe different strategies or this strategy for different symbols, and then being able to um, take everything together in one expert advisor. So you will have, for example, um, a strategy on two different symbols like Euro, US dollar and US dollar Japanese yen, and you are able to test it with only one expert advisor. So you are able to test like the correlation between um, these two strategies, and you can do all of this in one test run because the MetaTrader 5 is here limited in some way, and you are not able to test multiple expert advisors in the same test run. So you will have to do it manually, and this is what I I will show you in this video tutorial uh, series. So what I will be working um, with here is a really simple strategy. So you can see it here already in the chart. We will use uh, two moving averages. Doesn't really matter if it's a simple or an exponential moving average or whatever. And we will just trade the crossover. But as I said, you can do this with any strategy, like the general principle is always the same. So just make sure that you watch the whole series to get a good understanding and that you do not uh, miss anything. And then you can apply it to any of your expert advisors. So what I want to do is first, I'm um, in my MetaTrader 5 here now, and I go to the uh, Meta Editor. You can open it by clicking on IDE here, and then you are in the Meta Editor. Then in the upper left corner, you can click on New and create a new expert advisor, and you can say, uh, multi strategy EA um, or tester. It doesn't really matter what name you choose, of course. And you click on next, next, and finish. And I will not expect, like, um, explain like every single step because, as I said, this will be a little bit more advanced. And if you are completely new to programming, you should probably watch some of the other tutorials on the channel first. So I like to uh, rearrange my um, brackets a little bit and delete all the comments. So what we have left is the raw skeleton for an expert advisor. And first of all, I want to start by writing a um, basic strategy like this uh, moving average crossover. So what we need for this, we can create some inputs vari uh, input variables for this um, MA1 periods, like for the periods, for example. And we need this, of course, for all of these, uh, for, for both moving averages. And yeah, we can configure the periods. Um, if we have a look at the, at the indicator here, we can see we could have the period, the method, um, the shift, the apply to and everything. I think I will just go with the period and maybe with the uh, method. And my one method mode EMA, maybe we have a quicker um, moving average for the, um, for the first moving average and the second moving average will be a little bit slower. So make sure that you get your naming right for the uh, for the variables. They need to have different names, of course. I usually just choose like MA1 and then the name of the variable. And yeah, just go like this. Okay, since we have the two, um, uh, um, uh, the inputs for the two, um, uh, Moving averages now, we can create the handles. So handle MA1 <coughs> and handle MA2. <coughs> and then we can just initialize these handles. So handle MA1 is equal to IMA for the symbol, maybe the current chart time frame. Um, and the moving average period is MA1 period or periods, whatever you name it. Then we have the shift value. I just usually just go with zero, the MA method and the price close as a, an applied price. So we have the same thing for the second moving average, of course, just change these values to have the other input variables as parameter for the IMA function. And then in the on tick function, yeah, we just check, uh, we just receive the values so we can create the arrays for this, like MA1 and MA2 array, 
where we will store the values in and then we use the copy buffer function to get the value from the handle. So this is all pretty simple, pretty basic. I did this in several tutorials. Actually, I made a tutorial like three years ago where I show exactly this like on an absolute beginner level. So you will learn everything like how to set up these um, handles and why do we do this and stuff. So you should check out the video and just search for um, René Balke and Moving Average on YouTube and you will find it. So we are uh, searching for the main line here. We start at buffer one, we have a count of two and we store the values in the MA1 array for the first moving average. And then we do the same thing for the second moving average. So once we did this, we are now good to go to um, check for crossovers. And um, yeah, I usually like to uh, do this only once per bar. So we should do something like um, create a global variable bars total. And then in the onTick function, we get the total amount of bars. We store it in another variable named bars. We can just choose the period current again. And then we check if um, bars total is different than the bars value. And yeah, if this is true, we check or we calculate the um, indicator values and we update this bars total variable. Okay, so now with the start of every new bar, we, um, yeah, we, we calculate the indicator values and now comes the easy part where we just check the um, crossover. So first of all, we can check for the by crossover here. Um, and MA10 <clears throat> is smaller than MA20. Um, like this, whoops, wait a second. So this will be the um, by crossover. And then we also have the cell crossover. I would just copy this because I can just change these uh, operators and then it will search for the cell crossover. So um, since we have this now, this is already a working program and you can see these were just like 40 lines of code. Let's go back to the MetaTrader 5, open the strategy tester. You can do so by clicking on view strategy tester. And yeah, I also close the um, toolbox here. So there is the strategy tester and you can click on overview, visualize, and then choose the EA that we just created. Like here for expert, we will choose a multi-strategy tester because this is the name that I chose for the program. And then, yeah, the, the period does not really matter. Um, just make sure that you um, tick the visual mode so you can actually test your program. And now if I click on start in the lower right corner, it will run this program in uh, another chart, which will open in a second. And then we can see if um, this program is actually correct. So you can see it creates the indicators automatically in the tester. And once we see a crossover like here, it should print um, that there's a cell crossover. Let's just check the time, um, 23, yeah, this is correct. So one bar after the crossover, we will get the message in the expert journal that there's a crossover and we also see the buy crossover and the sell crossover. So everything's working. So one thing that is left is we have to open positions. And for this um, purpose, uh, the easiest thing to do is, I think, to um, include the trade, <clears throat> wait, like this, trade, trade MQH file, because we will have access to the C-Trade class now. C trade trade and we can use this to open positions. So trade by, um, yeah, we will have to use a volume. I don't know, we can choose a volume here as a input variable like this. And then we have by lots and then we have the symbol, which will be the chart symbol here. Then we have the price. Yeah, we will just open at the current price and um, do we use ATP or SL? Yeah, I think we should do this. But I mean, these things are not really uh, important for this uh, tutorial because these are just the basic um, yeah, mechanisms that I always implement in pretty much every programming tutorial on the channel. So if you have any questions until this point, uh, you can just watch any other tutorial on the channel pretty much and you will understand what I'm doing here. So again, this video is for a little bit more advanced programmers who already watched one or two of my tutorials. So maybe we calculate the entry price here, which will be the bid price. Um, oh, sorry, the ask price. 
for the um, by position, then we calculate the TP, it's entry plus, and we will create a um, input for this. And then normalize double TP digits like this, and we calculate the SL, entry minus SL points, multiplied with point, and then we round this, normalize double SL to the amount of digits after the decimal point. Okay, so we use entry, SL, and TP here, and we do the same thing for the cell uh, traits. So just copy this, paste it here, make sure that you do not make any mistake if you copy it, because you will have to modify one or two things here, of course. And now we have to um, create the input variables here. So we say TP points, it's, I don't know, 100, it doesn't matter at this point, it's just an input variable that the user can change. So if we do it like this, compile the program, and if we run it again, we should see that every crossover now opens a position, and yeah, then we, um, we trade this position, and we can define a lot of things already, like the TP points, the SL points. Yeah, you can see 100 is probably not enough. <laughs> but yeah, you can see trades are made. Maybe we can go back to the inputs and change this to, I don't know, 1,000 would make a little bit more sense and then start the test again. So let's see how this looks. Um, wait, where are my positions? This is a thousand points. Yeah, it looks like. So um, yeah, you can see the TP and SL is now a little bit further away from the entry and let's check if we make profits. Yeah, we actually make profits. But I mean, this is like the easiest system that you can write. Um, it's it's not like super stable or something. I just tested three months. And you would have to test a longer period to see if it actually works. But yeah, I think I will keep the strategy as easy as it is here right now. Um, because now I can also go ahead and, for example, test it in another market like Euro US dollar. I just go to the strategy tester, change the symbol and start the test again. So you will see now it takes the price, of course, from the euro dollar, it's in the euro dollar chart. And you can see also the backtesting graph is completely different. So what would be interesting here is um, how the portfolio of these two symbols would perform. Because I mean, we could test every single symbol in the market watch one by one, but it would take us an hour, two hours, three hours, depends on how many symbols, how many strategies you have. And it would be also super interesting to see how these work together. So this is what we will do in the next video. In the next video, I will take this simple strategy and I don't want to overcomplicate it because it's not about the strategy in this tutorial. It's about how to write an EA that tests a portfolio of different strategies. So we will take this strategy, move it into another file that we can then include into another expert advisor where we can have just multiple strategies and test all of them together in this expert advisor run. So this is what you will learn in this um, series. So if you're interested, subscribe, like the video, write a comment if you uh, have any question about something here. But again, if you have any question, it's probably not the right series for you and you should just go back and watch one of the other tutorials. I have a video tutorial already for a super simple moving average crossover EA where I explain all of this stuff like really detailed, really beginner friendly. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye. Uh,